y'all it's American mom I've had a little bit of a nap since the last episode but I really wanted to watch another one um, today but I don't want to overdo it with my eyes and then like be stuck in the bed the rest of the day with a headache this fucking things really driving me nuts I'm telling you I can't st it's messing up my schedule Saeed just shot little Linus and he fell down like dead like he shot him like like right there that's weird so I don't know I don't know what that means oh this this you know the as if the time travel things weren't enough to you know I know the the time travel flashes and stuff like that those are over Daniel said they're done remember so that's done great but now, one side of the island, in the here and now, with Son and grown-up Benjamin and Frank and everybody, and then our guys in the 70s, like, that's another mind fart. So it's like, which one would I rather have? Okay, let's see what happens. I, I bet you it won't pick up. I won't know what happens right away. But nevertheless... I want to see what happens, so let's do this. Figured everybody would be getting hungry by now. He's just a boy, Jack. You can't just let him die. You heard Miles. We can't change what's already happened. This has nothing to do with me. Unless you're the one who's supposed to save him. Shut up, Kate. I've already saved Benjamin Linus, and I did it for you, Kate. Yeah. So go away. I don't need to do it again. I'm loving Jack right now. Off island, did something happen with you two? We were engaged. Does that count? Yes. Which means my son stole my key so he could bust that animal out of jail. Why, why would he do that? He wants to get away from you. Because of me. Yes. And he wants to go live with the others. You got kids? No. He does, sort of. Get him out of here! Wait, what, what, Please, we had to do Wait a minute. So, this conversation we're having right now, we already had it. Yes! Then what am I going to say next? <laughs> I don't know. Ha! Then your theory is wrong. For the thousandth time, you dingbat. The conversation already happened, but not for you and me. For you and me, it's happening right now. Time isn't a straight line for us anymore. Our experiences in the past and the future occurred before these experiences right now. Say that again? <laughs> I can die because I've already come to the island on the freighter. Any of us can Why die shot? because this is our present. But you said Ben couldn't die because he still has to grow up and become the leader of the others. Because this is his past. But when we first captured Ben and Saeed, like, tortured him, then why wouldn't he remember getting shot by that same guy when he was a kid? <laughs> huh. <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. Huh. Sparks with your mind, doesn't it, Miles? I mean, there's got to be someone who can help him. We have an entire... Ki what? What? Maybe there's something they can do. They. The others. So, because he's already met Richard... You got him? Like, a few yeah. years back. Yeah. Go. Richard would help him. I want to know who she left Aaron with. Is it his grandma? Really? Aaron? Did somebody take him? Aaron? Is that why she don't want to talk about it? Oh god, y'all. When you can't find your child for like five seconds, you freak out. Excuse me. I've lost my son. 
He's three. He's a little blonde Don't boy. Don't worry, man. We'll make an announcement. No, no, no. You have to seal off the yeah. door. Yeah. Seal off the door. It won't be him, is it? Aaron? Hey. hey. Is this your mommy? Honey, is this your mommy? <sighs> I found him in the fruit section. Damn it, Freckles. I ain't here to stop you. I'm here to help you. TK. Hi, Clementine. Is your mommy home? Sure, I'll go get her. Okay. They're going back to the island. Pals. <laughs> Y'all know my mind's been kind of lately. Look how grown up Clementine is. Sawyer's daughter. But does Kate know that? Kate remember now in previous seasons if he sh said to Kate and shared with her like I have a daughter um that's the woman from the long con I'll always remember the name of that episode I don't know why the long con um but then they met her and Kate met when she was still doing cons <sighs> so it's like she's a friend now now she just Clementine calls her Auntie Kate. Okay. I was sitting here thinking, I thought Kate was an only child. Who's calling her Auntie Kate? And then the name Clementine just, okay. I had to pause it because I know where I'm at now. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Oh, does she, maybe she leaves Aaron with, I can't remember this woman's name to save my life, with Clementine's mother. And I turned around for one second, and he was gone. It happens to everybody. And why would I expect him to be taken? Because you took him, Kate. She left him. I had to take him. He needed me. See, I don't know. We don't know what happened. You needed him. Yeah, I need, yeah she needed somebody that would love her no matter what. Sawyer broke your heart. Mm -hmm. How else were you supposed to fix it? Where is Claire? No matter what he's gonna grow up to be, it's wrong to let a kid die. So somebody yeah, could have killed Hitler when he was a child, knowing what he was gonna do. Only for her. I'm sorry, but I think they would have. Manson, Jeffrey Dahmer, we could go on. Yeah, I think you could do it. He's nothing like them, but you, you know what I mean. That kid was bleeding out. You're a surgeon, and I needed you. That kid is Ben. It's not Ben yet. He's just a kid. <sighs> Juliet, I'm sorry. I can't help you. We've been fine for three years. You came back here for you. At least to me the courtesy of telling me why. Because Locke said they had to go back. Came back. Because I was supposed to. And we still don't know why. Supposed to do what? I don't know yet. Really wish he would have dried off his body before he put that shirt on. That just looks uncomfortable. Is that why you asked me to take care of your daughter? That was the request. Did you? Of course I did. Beautiful. Why didn't I think of that? Of course. It's just like you did. An interesting theory on why you jumped off the chopper. Yeah, what's that? She thought you were worried about what would happen if you didn't. You and me would have never worked out, Kate. I wasn't any more fit to be your boyfriend than I am to be that little girl's father. Well, you don't know you that. You seem to be doing all right with Juliet. Hands up! Mother Tucker. Do not move. This kid's been shot. That's both of our problems. So unless you want to go to war, you're going to take us to Richard Alfred. He's your grandson. And your daughter, Claire, is alive. What are you talking about? 
Claire died in the plane crash. No, she survived. When we crashed, your daughter was eight months pregnant, and she's the one who gave birth on the island, not me. We lied. There were other survivors, too, and we just left them behind. Why? Why would you leave her there? Well, she was kind of... Because she disappeared. Yeah. And, and she was... She left the baby right. behind, and we looked everywhere, but... That's when I started taking care of Aaron. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you come to me in the first place? Because I needed him. I've got goosebumps everywhere. Take care of him while I'm gone, and then I'll be back soon. Where are you going? I'm going back to find your daughter. This is going to be so confusing. He's been calling her mommy, and then his grandma's going to have him, and then if they find Claire and bring her back, then that's, that's mommy. Look how innocent. She's going to see him again, though. Or, or is she leaving thinking she's not going to see him again? My baby. Oh, she said my baby. Aww. And why are you here? Because we need you to save his life. Can you? Is Richard Jacob... He's not ever going to be the same again. Oh, what do you mean by that? What I mean is that he'll forget this ever happened and that his innocence will be gone. That's what happens. He will always be one of us. You shouldn't do this without asking Ely. If Charles finds out, let him find out. I don't answer to either of them. Where are you taking him? Oh. You're going to the orchid. There you are, you bastard. Locke just waiting for him to wake up. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ben. Welcome back to the land of the living. I love it. <laughs> Shit. That did not seem like as long of an episode. We did pick up from when uh, little Linus was shot and all of this whole thing about saving him. And that was pretty much it. We, you know, we had some backflashes, but so, but I did, okay. We did find out that from what Miles was saying, even though it was like, he was talking in circles and Hurley would be like, huh? And then he'd be like trying to explain something. But he said, yes, Ben can die now because this is now, even though it happened in the past. Our like our past, like, but then I was like, oh. now I don't wish any little kids did. Please don't write me hate mail. <laughs> well, you can write whatever you want, but if it's ugly, it's just, it's removed. So I don't see it anyway, but you know what I mean? This is a, a character that I see as a child now, but the the actual character, y'all know how much and what I think of him. So I'm seeing his like young, innocent self. And I'm like, I used an analogy earlier about if we knew what we knew about Hitler, Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, I mean, a bunch of people. Yeah. If you knew and if you could go back and all of a sudden you were in the past and you knew none of that stuff had happened yet with whatever they did, like, wouldn't you try and stop it? Child or not, or, or, or no child? It's very far-fetched for me to put Benjamin Linus in a category with those 
evil psychopaths, especially Hitler. He's like the devil himself. But anyway, because Benjamin's done his own shit that we don't care for. Even those of y'all that love Benjamin Linus, you love his, he's very interesting character and he is interesting. He's very interesting. And I've told y'all he's growing on me like a fungus. But nevertheless, every show has to have a villain. It was confirmed from Miles. He was like, he could be killed. Because at the end of the last episode, I left it with nothing can change. Whatever happened, happened. But this was the twist. Now, he's already met Richard as an other in the woods. And that's when Richard said, be patient. And he's patient all the way up until adulthood. And then they gas everybody. And then he gasses his dad. And then they move into the community. And Ben's the leader. But what Richard just said was, you give him to me. He will not be the same. He won't remember this. And his innocence will be gone. Is this why I hate Benjamin Linus? What does he do to him? Was he actually just a normal kid whose father was a douche? Because I, I went on about this in the last episode. I was like, you know, you can have shitty parents or a shitty parent or someone that raised you that was just fucked up and didn't need to be around kids. You know, it, but you don't have to grow up and carry on the cycle and do the same thing and be mean. So I just made that point, but now I'm starting to think, okay, he would, he would have probably been okay, but Richard has to do something in, in the orchid, whatever takes away his innocence or what does, you know, what makes him not the same anymore. Is that why I can't stand Benjamin Linus? Also, he said, you, you know, you give him to me, I will do this. He will change. And he will stay with us. So now he'll be raised as an other. Not in the Dharma Initiative community. Like everything we were introduced to in season three with the Dharma Initiative, like he's not a part of that anymore. I'm still confused because it does affect the future. I gotta stop again because this side of my head's hurting. <laughs> I must think more with this side of my head. Because it's starting to go. <laughs> Kate came clean um, about the situation with Aaron and the grandmother. It was very touching. I was on the brink of tears. But was she, was she saying goodbye? She said bye baby. But is, does she know she's never going to see him again? Or... Does she, is she just sad because she knows she has to leave him for a little while? And whether she, she comes back with Claire or not, you know, things are going to be different. Who else that was rescued would have taken on, you know, a three-month-old baby or however old he was when they got off the island? Who, who else would have done that? And Kate couldn't leave him behind. Claire was like, she was acting like she was doped up at Jacob's cabin. So I don't blame Kate for that at all. I just hate that now she's had him for three years and things are just going to be different now. Okay. So I really enjoyed that. I did. This was another, this was another great week for Lost. I thank y'all for watching this video with me. I hope you've enjoyed this week's reactions. Um, again, sorry that everything's been off a little bit, even though you'll probably be still seeing this on Friday on, on schedule. I'm just behind myself, so I've got some catching up to do. And thank you also for your well wishes, um, for me over the weekend. But until the next video and the next time, bye.